do or die for us. Oh, got one. Did? Yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I haven't been fishing in a while. I'm finally out here. It's been probably over a month since I fished. I've just been avoiding this heat, been inside, working on home projects and all that boring stuff. But good thing we're out here. Brenda's out here too. And let's see what we catch today. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a jerk bait and she is too. And I'm just gonna work this little area. Let's go down here. So pretty much I haven't fished in a while. It's pretty much having to find out the uh, the pattern again. So you have to find the fishing pattern again because you don't know what they're eating. It's pretty hot out. We're fishing the evening right now. We're gonna fish till the sunset and we'll see what we catch. Move to this side. Always better to fish against the current. Not saying you'll catch fish this way, but gives your uh, lure more action. See, when you fish with the current, you gotta reel in really fast if the current's fast. I've caught fish this way too, but it's just more work. So this is the secret to fishing more, just pre-rigging everything. That's why I have a pre-rigged uh, drop shot. I'm going to see if there's any bass here. And this spot is too nice to not have a fish here. I thought I had a fish. <laughs> They're caught in the weeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish with a lipless crankbait. I really doubt they're gonna eat this. They're not gonna eat the drop shot. All right, we're off to a new spot. We just made it to the aqueduct and we saw that the gates are all the way open. So let's see if we're catching a fish. Typically I don't do really good when the gates are all the way open. She thought I had a fish. So we made it back to the Delta Mendota and the gates are wide open here as well. I don't know. I don't know. Even if we don't catch a fish, it's nice right here in the shade. That was a bad cast. The current seems too fast. The water seems too dirty. Want me to give it a try? Probably nothing. If you didn't catch anything, I doubt you didn't catch something. Made it to another spot on the Delta Mendota. And I hope we catch a fish here. All right, so it's do or die for us. Oh, got one. Did? Yeah. Why? Honey. I don't trust you no more. <laughs> <laughs> she does trust me. First cast here, I got one. Feels like a decent one ah uh, small nice. yeah that was a nice like a little 17 maybe a 16 you got the lip grippers they're on the um let me land them so that way we have a fish 
a bank flip up. Oh yeah, this one's not bad. Yeah. Oh, that's not a bad one, huh? Let me see. Hold it. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Um, it's actually a decent sized fish. We're gonna go ahead and measure it. See how big he is. So from the lip to the tail is about 17 and a half. Not a bad sized fish. Getting it skunked. Alright, Brenda's gonna go ahead and release it. Yeah, you can reel this right here. Alright, catch and release. Good job. First cast, guys. No skunk. Even though he was 17 and a half. I'll take it. Let me know if you guys like fishing in the evening or the morning. I'm a morning person. So I think this is the first time I've fished the evenings in a long time. Right, so we haven't been fishing much. But I wanted to show you guys a real cool clip of me fishing on a boat for the first time. I'll insert it here. I got to go fishing with uh, Wayne on his new boat. That was pretty cool, even though we didn't catch anything. All right, guys, unfortunately we only caught one fish. At least we didn't skunk. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a super long video, but uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe. It just feels so good to be back out here. Um, probably be back out here next weekend. All right, see you guys on the next one.